In today's video, we're going to get you the ultimate upgrade priority guide for Town Hall 11, especially focused on free to play for your broke people like myself. What is up guys, this is YK404 back with you with a Town Hall 11 upgrade guide and well, let's not delay and dive into it straight up. I like to split this thing into three categories. Number one, day one upgrade. Number two, offense and resource. Number three, defense. In day one, we will start by upgrading our farming troops and war troops instantly within the lab. But for that, we'll have to upgrade our lab instantly along with the clan castle. If you have been saving up some magic items like I have been, this is for you. So let's begin by upgrading the lab and the clan castle. You can either use a book or a hammer for the clan castle and the lab. I will be using a book for the lab, a hammer for the clan castle. Just because it takes a lot more time and resource compared to the lab, and some of you might not agree with the clan castle upgrading, but I would like to prioritize way above anything else just because it gives me both the offensive as well as defensive edge at the same time. Now the second thing that uh, I would like to do in day one upgrade guide is put literally everything from my shop down on my village and yes, that includes the eagle artillery for me. Some of you might not want to uh, do this right away, you might want to hold on to the eagle artillery just because it increases your war weight but let me tell you one thing straight up right now. The war weight calculation has changed and it now depends both on offense and defense so you cannot be like the 2.5 or whatever they call it 1.5 uh, engineering style base designs and I don't really personally care because I can handle strong uh, opponents. Going back to the shop guys I want you to prioritize whatever comes with a less amount of time to build it. You can start with your Grand Warden I would say. So let's put everything down and we'll begin with the Grand Warden as well and the ones that take less amount of time to be built coming first. <gasps> now when it comes to offense I would put at least two builders constantly on heroes and try to max the queen and warden as early as possible. I would also keep one builder on a barrack, one builder on an army camp, one builder on storages. You wonder why? Well, I, I can't put like more than one builder on barracks because that would slow down my army cooking speed. We don't have any gold pass boosts or anything reducing the army training uh, time or something. So no, I'm not gonna put two barracks at the same time down. And with investing all of those builders in different things, if you have six builders you will have this edge just like me where you can put this one last builder that you're left with onto defenses. And I think you know what that means. We're going to use this one builder to slowly and steadily keep the new defense levels going up to match our old Town Hall 10 level defenses. And then we will upgrade everything to Town Hall 11 level defenses once we match everything to the same level of Town Hall 10. So let's talk about why we have prioritized our offense so early and defenses towards the end. According to Clash Ninja, it takes 5 plus months to max defenses with all 5 builders actively working, no weekends, no holidays, no Christmas, no Halloweens, no New Years, no absolutely nothing. They gotta keep grinding and even then it's gonna take 5 plus months. Yeah, that's right. And it takes 9 plus months to max the laboratory. Now you can't do five laboratories because you have only one so no way to cut that down to a lesser time. And it takes about seven months uh, to max out all those heroes that you have. That includes the king, the queen and the grand warden. Which means if we max the structures we will have a rushed lab and rushed heroes when we move to town hall 12 which 
for most of you guys out there who are impatient have the same case you guys are starting this town hall 11 along with me just with rush heroes and you know rush lab now let's dive into my favorite part of day one upgrade the lab my favorite army at town hall 11 is the pekka bow bat after that comes the zap dragons which can also be used for farming some of you might like the hybrid army so you can go ahead and do that that's like there's no right or wrong when it comes to lab you just gotta upgrade what you know you're good at or you know that you enjoy now we'll kick off the town hall 11 lab by maxing dragons lightning earthquake balloons immediately the optional upgrade for those folks who have some extra metal saved up just like me can also upgrade freeze and baby dragons that completes your dragon army for both war and farming at the same time on day one now the reason I am upgrading dragons is because I kinda like dragons. I know some of you guys consider this spammier, um, but well, let's not talk about the people who use witches. Um, I would include myself in the witches category because I also like the Zap Quake Witch attack for wars, um, depending on what value I can grab with the Zap and Quake. With that said, you do not absolutely want to just randomly upgrade troops. You want to plan and upgrade one single army at a time. For example, we did the dragons, lightnings, earthquake, balloons, freeze, baby dragon. That completed the whole dragon attack or dragon army for us. Imagine if I did dragon and then I did miner and then I did lava hound and it literally would mean nothing. So. Stick to one army at a time, max the whole thing, and then focus on the other armies that you have in your mind. And with that final advice, we'll wrap this video up. Let me know down in the comments what army you will be maxing first. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care.